Hello and welcome to module 4 websites. In this module we are going to learn everything about websites, how they function, how they are built and how they are put on the web. In this particular model we are even going to look into how to create a basic website using WordPress. I hope you enjoy this module. So without further ado, let's see the first session. Basics of website. So how visitors find the website on internet? These are four important aspects that are involved. First is browser. Browser can be Chrome, it can be Internet Explorer or it can be Mozilla Firefox. Any browser you use, that is your input window to find out website or to reach out to the website. Now the browser also involves search engine. Search engine is nothing but how do you search websites or web links through keywords. But if you have URL in place for that one specific website, then you can use browser to reach out to that website. So what your visitors do? They type something like this www.yourdomain.com into the browser. Now what happens is that browser then tries to fetch information about that particular domain from domain registrar. So this address that you type is called domain or domain name. So what happens in domain registrar? Your address is looked up and found at whatever, let's say this example you can take ben.wpmanagedhost.com. So hosts are are the places where your website is residing. You need to purchase hosting, right? So hosts are the place where your website resides or host accommodate your website for a fees for specific requirement for a website according to the space it requires. Now what happens? Domain registrar finds out or try to look up that particular address. Then what happens that website is pulled out in a way it is it is in a way referred to from the web host and the website is then put on your browser for your viewing. So these are the steps which are followed. To reiterate, you put certain domain name into the website, into the browser. Then that browser fetches information from the domain registrar Domain registrar in turn fetches information from the web host and web host then gives out the website to the browser. So this is the mechanism behind it. Looks pretty simple, but there are many things that are involved. Understandably, looking at this diagram, you can say that browser, domain, host are very important. These three things put together gives the experience of your website. So fourth part of your website is all together about how you create that, on which platform you build that. That is really up to you. But apart from that, one, two, three are about how that website is retrieved and shown to the visitor. So this is a journey of website. Now I'm talking about the fourth part. You start with a concept, what sort of website you want to build, whether it is a simple website which talks about what your organization is, whether it is an e-commerce website which sells products, or it is just a blog for you to showcase your writing skills. You always start with the concept. Here, one important steps involved is that 
when you start the concept you want to know what name you want to give to your website and you register that name with the domain companies like godaddy you find out if domain you are looking for is available let's say that i want to start e-commerce company named luna right so i will try to search that domain if it is available and i will purchase that domain depending upon what kind of domain you are purchasing what kind of words that domain has cost of it differs we are going to look into that in next session but understand that you need to register domain when you start thinking about building a website you need to find a name once you have that concept in place you start thinking about design and layout this is a very thorough procedure that you do you select the technology platform on which you want to build your website you decide what kind of front end it will have what kind of visual it will carry and at the back end what kind of technology you want to use there are many frameworks that are available in the market to design websites one of the frameworks and one of the most popular one is wordpress there are many others but primarily if someone really want to start building website without getting too much into coding wordpress is a good way to start now you decide a design and layout you start developing the website you develop the website and at the end of it you host it somewhere so you need to purchase a hosting you bought the address for your website which is whatever www.luna.com in our example scape but i want to find the place to put that address so that people can find it and that place or that host is nothing but hosting company providers which give you space on their servers to host your websites hosting is very important because depending upon the size of your website you need to find appropriate hosting space or company so that people who wants to visit your website can visit it internet is in a way connection between various websites people and their window to the world is through browser this is how usually internet works and you launch launch the website then you do other activities like seo to make sure that that appears in the search engine we'll see more of that when we come to search engine optimization part but this is a journey of a website in a nutshell in next session we are going to learn more about wordpress and a bit about hosting i hope you understood the journey of a website and what all things are involved into fetching a website on the browser till that time thank you